Why is the climate in the U.S. so much colder than in Europe? Even though most of America lies closer to the equator. It sounds backwards, right? But it's true. New York City often freezes in winter, with snow and temperatures dropping to minus 10 degrees Celsius, while Madrid, at the same latitude, rarely sees snow at all. And get this, Paris is farther north than Toronto, yet Canada endures months of brutal cold, while France stays relatively mild. So what's going on? It's all thanks to one thing, the Gulf Stream. This massive warm ocean current starts in the Caribbean Sea, flows through the Gulf of Mexico, where waters heat up to 28 degrees Celsius, then moves up along the U.S. East Coast before racing across the Atlantic toward Europe. By the time it reaches the continent, it's carrying a huge amount of heat, which warms the air, and the westerly winds spread that warmth across Europe. That's why even Norway, at the same latitude as Alaska, has ice-free coasts and surprisingly mild winters. Meanwhile, in the U.S., the California current brings cold water down the West Coast, keeping places like San Francisco cool even in summer. And to make things worse, far to the east, over Siberia, gigantic cold air masses form in winter. They push south across Canada and sweep through the central and eastern U.S., bringing Arctic blasts, blizzards, and sudden freezes, 